Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is hashtag 100 days of Halloween, but it is 98 days. Is that right? <laughs> Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 197 days. I missed yesterday. I had to intended, had every intention of recording and <laughs> uh, life. I never got a chance to sit down and do it. My kids are crazy. Oh my god. But I did put yarn in my uh, blanket. <laughs> I picked, uh, I think I, yeah, I did orange yesterday. Let me find this here. On Monday, I did, I can't remember now. I did green and then I did purple. So then I did orange. Um, yesterday i'm trying to find where i started it out okay am i getting close <laughs> so um monday was or, or purple and then i did orange so there's orange adding it in there added a little orange it went all the way to that corner and then all the way across the whole end and then all the way to here and then today i put white on there so i went around that corner and went around, 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 <laughs> all the way to that end, and then just a little bit after that corner, right there. So that is the two colors that I used on the days yesterday that I missed, and then today. Um, and I did find a skull and crossbones applique. If I can think about it, I'll link it in the description. That I'm gonna make some to put on the blanket this year <laughs> uh, to add to my spiders and my eyeballs. So, but I found it, I think it's going to be a good size, but if it's not, I can tweak it, you know, and make it like a good size that I want it to be to go along with it, uh, roughly the size of the other appliques. But yeah, so I did work on that. I did switch, though, <laughs> to uh, half double crochets. That's why, it's, you know, you can see the difference between double and half double, because they're so much quicker for me to make than the double crochets. I enjoy half double crochets more, so... A lot of the blanket is double cro crochets, but from now on, it's going to be half doubles. I realize it's going to grow a little bit slower, but it'll be easier for me to put rows in it because I can just fly right through there. It's, I can do half double crochets way quicker than full double crochets. So yeah, so I did do my yarn. I mean, my blanket. And so the two movies. So I did watch one yesterday, and it was called Aquarium of the Dead, and it is available to watch for free on wait let me think about it no no it wasn't it was on paramount plus as well it's paid for subscription um it was pretty good actually the story was really good i like the storyline however <laughs> it was low budget the cgi was not that good at all it looked like you could tell that it was layered like in the parts where it's like a and these fish they're like the the fish at this aquarium they get uh poisoned with tainted medicine and it makes them die, but then they come back as like zombie fish. <laughs> um, and like you can see where like the animated fish is overlaid on top of the video they already recorded of a person reacting to getting killed by fish. So the the graphics is not that good. <laughs> and the acting, some of the acting is <laughs> horrible. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. I just, I feel like some of these movies, like sometimes it's so lame that it's like are they doing this on purpose are they trying to be that lame but um overall i thought it was a decent ish movie uh like i watched the whole thing it wasn't so bad that i quit watching it which i've done before you know but i enjoyed it enough to finish watching it i did like the storyline it ended kind of weird because in my mind if there's like an aquarium that's on lockdown and there's fish out killing people like cops and everything would have been there <laughs> but at the end of the movie the only people that's there is like two firefighters and then they just kind of leave and the movie goes off and it's like, okay, what about the fish that's inside killing people <laughs> or that had killed people? But uh, anyways, I felt like when it ended, it wasn't over, you know, like there was parts they didn't tell in the story. So I do give that one two jack-o'-lanterns out of five, only because I did like the storyline. I just wish they had to spend a little bit more money on it. But obviously, you know, you know, I know they didn't have like the budget or whatever. And also I wish they had ended it a little bit better. Because it just felt like it was unfinished. And then today I watched. It took me all day to watch this movie. Because I had to keep pausing it. Because it was a more scarier movie. And it was I was on my phone. I don't watch any of these movies on the TV obviously. Because I have kids. So I watch them like while I'm doing laundry. And doing dishes and stuff on my phone. 
so that I can control, you know, like if one of the kids comes to me, I can pause it and um, they don't hear it or anything. But um, I watched the majority of it while June was napping. But then I kind of watched bits and pieces throughout the rest of the day because I was trying to watch it on. It's like a, it's only an hour and a half long. But, um, and it, it is free on Tubi. And it's called The Taking of Deborah Logan. And it was a pretty good movie. It was definitely on the more scarier side of movies. It's a possession movie. So if that's not your thing, don't look it up. <laughs> um, but it's a possession movie of this woman who, like, it's like doc, it's filmed like docu documentary style, where like people are coming to do a documentary about a woman who has Alzheimer's. And they're supposed to be doing a documentary about like the progression of that. And then she ends up being possessed as well. <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty good storyline. I like the storyline. There are parts of the acting in it too that was a little like, eh. But I, I feel like that's kind of normal in horror movies. It's like, it's almost like they do that on purpose sometimes. I don't know if that's like a genre, like, <laughs> slightly crappy acting is like popular in horror movies but anyways uh it was pretty good movie it ended pretty good i guess <laughs> and uh i did enjoy it too i watched the whole thing and i was the only thing i don't like about that kind of horror movie where it's filmed documentary style you know it's like someone's holding the camera instead of actual camera guy it moves around a lot and like on certain scenes where they're um you know like if someone's getting attacked it's just all over the place and it's going in and out and you can't see anything those kind of bug me only because it's like I don't even know what's going on, you know, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> that's the point of those things, you know. But uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty good movie. So I think I'll give that one four jack and lanterns out of five. It was a pretty good movie. Like, I would probably watch that again. Like, I, I might end up watching it again because Devin might want to watch it and I could watch it with him. But that's those two movies that I watched yesterday and today. And I showed you my yarn. <laughs> also, today I wanted to share with you some stickers that my sister made. I asked her to make some Halloween ones because I am planning on hosting... A Halloween crochet along well a make along and it's gonna be starting August 1st so starting a week from yesterday or today <laughs> whenever August 1st is um, and it's gonna be going from through all of August all of September until all, the end of September is gonna end that way I can have time to mail you the winnings um, and you can use it during Halloween season but uh, anyways it's gonna be, it's gonna be called happy Malloween <laughs> so it's M-A-L L O W E E N. So it's like Halloween, but Halloween. So it's make along Halloween, is what it means. <laughs> Anyways, um, you'll be able to enter it. Like the main place to enter it is going to be Facebook because where it's easier for me to collect photos of everybody's went, or enters entries. <laughs> but you can also, if you want to, email to me if you don't do Facebook. But, anyways, I'm going to make a video separate about this in a few days. But I asked my sister to make some Halloween stickers for prizes to go in the prize bags. So there's going to be two winners, so there's two of each of these stickers. And actually, I need to get her to make a couple more sets. She made one more set for me, too. <laughs> of course. And um, I have some friends I don't want to give some to. But anyway, so here they are. They're really cute. So the first one that she made is a yarn ball jack o' -lantern. And the hook is the stem. Isn't that cute? And then I, asked, I wanted her to make a heart one. Or maybe she came up with this. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a heart yarn ball jack o' -lantern with the hook through it and then there's two little ghosties holding yarn balls <laughs> they're so cute and they're so happy with their yarn <laughs> so these are the stickers my sister got or came up with for my halloween crochet along and i'm sure they'll be in her shop too <sighs> i can't pick my favorites i definitely love this one because she's pink <laughs> and i do love the pumpkin one i love them all though but those are going to be going into my giveaway also i'll probably do um notion pouches and then maybe some stitch markers and things i have a ton of halloween stitch markers that i made like two years ago and i've been slowly sending them to people and stuff and uh i got even more halloween um charms <laughs> that i bought last year so i got plenty of uh stitch markers i can make <laughs> probably a whole set for the winners and then also today i made a little Halloween thing. I put it in a short already, so if you watch the shorts, you would have already seen it. But it is a little uh, jack o' lantern, <laughs> and these are felt. These my sister made these on her Cricut um, jack o' lantern face, and it's a little uh, treat <laughs> container. I got some candies in there just to show, you know. But it was pretty easy. It's made out of um, red heart pumpkin, and this is a little piece of. Um, Big twist, I think. 
and then I just hot glued them on. It's just made the, the three parts, you know, this is made separate and sewed on. And it was super quick and easy. I used a G hook. I think it does call for H hook. But I was afraid with my tension that it'd be real holy. So I didn't go down to G and it looks pretty good. I like it. It looks better when it's sitting on like a table. And it doesn't get all bent out of shape. But I think he's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to put him. I'm probably going to keep him and put him just as a decoration. I'll take that candy out. Maybe put something else in there. Um, just do this decoration. But I wanted to share that with you guys because I just thought it was cute. And I'll leave that pattern for that link below if you want to check it out. But I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited. It's later in the day. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 8 or 9. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.